a brand new one because I actually did this one at the Change the Status Quo event, so if any of you guys were at that. Um, I was thinking this morning after I took my shower because I often, when it's raining outside, like to take showers. And um, I was thinking, because I'm that kid that I take showers and then you seriously have to try this if you've never tried this. You just like go naked in your bed and just lay in your bed naked for a while and like turn on the TV, you know? And then you like to walk in and be like, what the hell are you doing? And be like, you took a shower and, like two hours ago. But I was thinking about what I would do tonight, so I just thought I would do this one because. I'm pretty sure that Queen Latifah lives inside of me. And <laughs> so I wrote a poem about it, naturally. And I hope that you like this. I am convinced that Queen Latifah lives inside of me. She inhabits my hopes, she inhabits my heart and drains out in my soul. She is the never stop till the top school you at hip hop and you jive. A nerd. But the lines between equations and rhymes have been blurred into this absurd life that I find myself living, giving back to my words because if I didn't say it, it may go unheard. And whenever I get up to slam, my personality is instantly deferred to my heart, to the art of Queen Latifah. Understand this I am a strong, independent woman and I am a fucking good lay. And any day, I will live. In this traffic jam of a world where we don't know where we're going, but we are at a standstill, I am flowing in the flow of just knowing that I will someday grow to be as great as Queen Latifah. In my voice, in the fever of the choice of the echo of vocals to the foreigners and locals, this is who I am. I am five foot four, definitely not a whore. Let the door hit your butt out on the way if you're looking for more. I am smart, good at darts, following the flow, trying to count poly, and this is where I start. I am. Love with a heart big enough to fly above the hate presented in this world and to create a different state of mind. I believe that we will find the answers to our questions conveniently where they lie in our souls. And I am proud to be part of a dying breed of gingers. And my goal is never to injure the pride of others, but to discover that maybe we don't know what's best in our own damn lives. I am a bona fide manuscript from the next big blockbuster hit, and it's called Get With It, This Is Your Life. And I make lifeless, not bucket ones, because we can do more living than if we are mocking off the days till we die, and I will constantly strive to be more alive, to be more confident, and get into the front seat, not for just the test drive, but to start on this highway of life. This is my Queen Latifah melody. If you can be all that you want to be, you can achieve and still be sexy, you can be greater than stereotypes placed on us by the stars and stripes of our own nation. This is not an iteration, it's an annihilation of this is where my life should go. And this is what I have to do to meet the status quo. I will blow the socks off, throw the combining box off my mouth because I can't be censored, not nearly condensed or fenced in by the sins that I'm told I should repent. Rules are made to be bred. So why are we the ones bending now? I'm scared and afraid. And I don't go down, that if I don't go down with the laid down path, the ends of my rope will be frayed. But how often do we stay in the traffic jam? How often do we stand in the lines, afraid of fines, not wanting to undermine authority? This life just means so much fucking more to me. And though I am terrified, if I look inside, I know that Queen Latifah is living in my heart. And she's looking out my eyes. And I will have the strength to be who I am. So, thank you.